All right, it is time for this week's STEAM series, and our focus today is engineering. And our very own lovely Amber Lee is joining us with her story about the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley. Can't Amber. wait to see it. Yeah, so it's really nice to hear that the, Re the Reagan Library actually reopens today after being closed for 14 months due to coronavirus restrictions. My story is about the facilities manager whose job is to protect all the presidential artifacts. A presidential limo. The command center of Air Force One, Oval Office Jelly Bean, and Cold War ending weaponry. In charge of preserving it all, this man, John Laney. I make sure everything keeps clean, keeps running. John is a facilities manager for the Ronald Reagan Presidential Museum and Library. To preserve historical treasures for future generations, a museum facilities manager needs to tightly control temperature and humidity. Those are the two biggest things when you're talking about artifacts, whether they be paper or fabric or a jet airplane. They all have to be controlled because corrosion and degradation of the materials is very, very important. To control the climate, John oversees the museum's very own power plant. This is our cogeneration plant where we create hot water, cold water, and electricity for the campus. The power generator outside keeps the air cool and clean inside. As visitors return post COVID-19 lockdown, a top of mind concern, preventing germ transmission. There's a 56 inch duct on each side of the building, goes across the front window, and that creates like a curtain of air that comes straight down and then moves back towards the back of the building and is mixed with outside air. And then it goes through a filtering system and that keeps the air clean and filtered inside the building. Of all the STEAM disciplines, facilities managers rely most on engineering. We have to have a little bit of knowledge on all the basic trades, building, plumbing, electrical, event management. You've got to know a little bit about a lot. And be ready to respond to calls 24-7. Whether it's a door hinge that needs to be replaced to setting up for a thousand people. Whether visitors are attending a speech, climbing aboard Marine One, or using wheelchair access to take a tour of the presidential aircraft. A difficult day is when a major component or even a small component fails. The failure John fears most. The air conditioning. Well, if we don't have cold air, this place gets hot real quick and everyone notices it. On the other hand. A really good day is when everything's working right. The key to being a facilities person is you're invisible. If we're doing our job right, no one even knows we're here. Right. So where does a person go to get training to be a facilities manager? We have a link to that on and more on STEAM careers on CBSLA.com slash STEAM. Go John. I like how he was talking about his biggest fear is that the air conditioner would go out. 100% right? <laughs> right? Especially in, in Simi Valley valuable. where it gets very mm -hmm. hot. 